Well, there's no getting off or getting on to the island with officers blocking the only way and the sign behind me reading curfew extended indefinitely. This is, of course, because of the damage from the hurricane. I'm live across the bridge from Ocean Isle Beach, where six miles away from me, Rockingham County paramedic Dee Bolins is with her family vacationing. And I started my 40th birthday going through a hurricane. So it pretty much sums up how 2020 has went for everyone. Dee Bullens wrestled with whether she should cancel her family's trip to Sunset Beach and stay home in Rockingham County with Isaias on the way. But she and her family decided to ride out the storm. We knew that we were going into a curfew at 6 p.m. yesterday and we came back here and hunkered down and we just waited. And things started getting interested in between 9 and 10 o'clock last night. She captured this video just before the eye of the storm passed over the resort. Heavy winds and swaying trees, a scene reflected on other parts of the coast. When the sun came up, Dee and her family would learn and see with their own eyes just how close the real damage hit. After getting turned away at Ocean Isle Beach, they went to Oak Island. At least 15 streets was absolutely flooded. Um, between water or just packed with sand. We found a boat in a field, um, condos completely flooded, cars flooded. While they weren't at home, this devastation hit close. Her heart goes out to those suffering. It makes you feel so sorry for them people, whether they're visitors, homeowners, business owners, and it makes you feel so fortunate that it wasn't worse where you were because I couldn't imagine being in those conditions. Now, emergency management for Brunswick County, where we are right now, told me that seven homes on the island burned after the eye of the hurricane made its way onto land right behind me, and somehow no one was hurt.